Yu-Gi-Oh! to Hot Yu-Gi-Oh! Great Duel, Yuma vs. Shark. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, and so we're gonna start the grading system, and it'll start with a 10 out of 10. Um, and then during the course of the duel, I'll, de -incre I'll decrease it if, we, if I see anything wrong with this duel. So, let's get on with the rest of this duel. Let's duel! Get set to get decked! Yeah! I need to ask the question. Why is that card in your hand? I summon Zubaba Knight! You're going down, Shark! Zubaba Knight! <laughs> Got that right, and with it, I intend to crown that knight. Never make a joke like that again. It's my draw! Ha! I summon forth Big Jaws! Man, 1800 attack points! That's right, and since Zubaba Knight is just 1600, you're in deep water. Are you serious? After all, when two monsters fight, the one with the least attack points is destroyed and its owner takes the difference as damage. Aw, oh, great, so that means I'm losing 200 life points. Next time, play your weak monster in defense mode. Although, it really wouldn't have mattered this time, because of this. The spell card, Aqua Jet. Now, until the end of this turn, my Big Jaws gains 1,000 attack points. There it is! Yep, Shark Super Spell Combo! Like it. My life points! Next, I'll place a face down card and end my turn. Nuts! I summon out Gagaga -ga -ga Magician! You're summoning him in attack mode with just 1500 attack points? Time to kick ass. That's why I'm equipping Gagaga -ga -ga with this! Wonder Wand! Now my magician gains 500 attack points! You can't handle this power. Now go, mighty magician! Reel in that fish! Laugh at my joke, I'm funny. How about you try and get real? Balance is made to be broken. I play my face down! Your face down? That's right! Zeus is breath! And I have a feeling it's gonna stink for you because thanks to this trap, I can put a stop to your monster's attack. Oh, oh, oh. And there's more. If I have a water monster on my field, you also take 800 points of damage. And there is a water monster on my field. So, prepare to be soaked with a serious splash of damage. Oh. Oh. That's too strong. It's my draw! And first I summon Skull Crockin! Six hundred attack points. Alright, no prob. Gagaga -ga -ga Magician is still the strongest monster on the field. Not for long, he's not. I activate Skull Crockin's special ability. With it, I can destroy one face-up spell or trap card on your field. Such as that Wonder Wand, for example. That's really convenient. Oh no! Oh yes! Now Gaga Ga Magician is back at the bottom of the food chain. Ah! Yes, Shark! Let the number take hold! I overlay level 3! Big Jaws and Kraken! Number 17! Leviathan Dragon! Attack with Shock Stream Blast! Okay, so what we, you can see there is I think um, we have Shark there summoning something from his extra deck that doesn't exist. He did not have it at the beginning of the duel. You can see some magical intervention here. So we're going to have to take out some points. Really should be disqualified. But in, per but in line with um, ruling this uh, duel, we're going to take away four points. So it's now at a measly six out of ten. My turn, I draw. 
first I will summon Go 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 Golem in defense mode. Quit interrupting already! I summon Go 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 Golem in attack mode! Eighteen hundred attack points? That's not enough to defeat that dragon. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Next, from my hand, I play the spell Blustering Winds. And it's gonna blow your mind, cause now one monster of mine in attack mode gains a thousand points till my next turn. Does not sound too bad. Rah! I summon Drill Barnacle! Three hundred attack points. You are lucky. Wait, what do you mean I'm lucky? I activate my dragon's ability. So by using an overlay unit, I can power up Leviathan Dragon straight! 3,000 points now? Whoa! Since Shark's Leviathan Dragon had one last overlay unit remaining, it was obvious what he would do. Just as it is obvious what he will do now. What? Guess what happens now? It's time, Leviathan Dragon! Attack! Go, 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 Golem! Just 800 points left. Oh, guess this guy was right about me being lucky. I'm not finished yet, Yuma. Drill Barnacle, dig in! My poor heart, I can't take it. While you think things over, I activate Drill Barnacle's effect. Because it was able to deal damage to you, it now gains 1,000 attack points. But just wait, Yuma, there's more. Drill Barnacle is a monster that can attack you directly, which means on the next turn, if that attack connects, you're through. Nuts. Is that fair? All right, for the sake of both my and Bronx decks, here goes, I draw. You have a great team. Monster Reborn. It seems that fate has come through for me this time. But I'm the one who drew it! I summon Gonbara Knight in attack mode! From my hand, I activate the spell card Monster Reborn! And with it, I bring back Gagaga Magician! So what? His 1500 attack points are no threat to me. At last, the stage is set. For what? Teamwork. Overlay level 4 Gagaga Magician and Gunbara Knight. Hang on a sec. Is this what I think? Look at your deck, Yuma. Okay, and now we can see here um, from what Yuma is doing, he again has gotten a card from his extra deck that didn't exist at the beginning of the duel. So this he calls for immediate court disqualification. It's a no count. And um, yeah, we're going to reduce that again by another six points going to to two it's looking at a two out of ten this is looking to be an abysmal duel again similar to the uh use uh you know yusaku duel versus the knights of hanoi this is not looking good at all and it's looking to be an abysmal duel in terms of rules followed here they didn't even cheat they just here they didn't even like the enemy wasn't even cheating they just both summoned cards outside of the extra deck. They summoned cards outside of their mains. I'm feeling the flow big time! I overlay level 4 Gagaga -ga -ga Magician and Gambara Knight. And now that I have, I can do a little XC summoning. So here goes! Rise on up, number 39, Utopia! Take out Shark's monster, Utopia! Attack Drill Barnacle! Go, Rising Sun Slash! Yeah! You got number crunched! Break it. It's my turn! I draw! Ha! From my hand, I activate the spell card Surface! And since I did, a water monster now surfaces from my graveyard. Welcome back, Big Jaws! If 
but he won't be back for long. I now release him and tribute summon Jaws Man! Tribute summon? Wait a minute. That can't be right. <laughs> now Jaws Man gains 300 attack points for every other water monster on my field. I have one, Leviathan Dragon. So Jaws Man powers up to 2,900 attack points. Guess what happens now? I activate Utopia's special ability by using an overlay unit to negate Leviathan Dragon's attack. Yo, Lightwing Shield! It's really convenient. I play the trap Bye Bye Damage, which means my monster can say bye bye to being destroyed this turn. Because now I can play my trap, Booming Urchin! And it really does pack a punch because come my turn, you'll be blasted with 1,000 points of damage, and I'll win this! That's too strong. And here it comes! The Sting of Defeat! Okay, so far as we can see, Shark has activated the trap Booming Urchin, allowing him to deal 1,000 points of damage to Yuma on his next standby phase. Right. So it looks like he's got it in a bag. It looks pretty easy. Possibly nothing could go wrong here. Who knows? But it looks like a slam dunk. Let's see how Yuma responds to this situation. Let's continue with the rest of the duel. Go! Utopia, attack Leviathan Dragon! Guess what happens now? And now I activate Utopia's ability and use an overlay unit to negate that attack. I find this rather odd. Now, from my hand, I'm playing the spell Double or Nothing! Because since I stopped his attack before, his strength is now double, and he gets to attack again! Hold on, that's pretty smart. Uh, 5,000 attack points! Now go, Utopia! Attack Leviathan Dragon with Rising Sun Slash! Okay, and uh, I think that's the end of the duel. And so we're going to go to our notes here. So what's the notes? Notes there, as you can see, sort out decks before dueling. Definitely this needs to be a thing that uh, in these anime, in these uh, duels, as you're grading them, sort out your decks. Make sure you have the cards that you want, you know, uh, players in your deck. This is definitely a disqualification, a no count duel yet again. <sighs> Are we going to see a realistic duel in this? Maybe, hopefully we will. Um, the next greater duel is going to be with, uh, you know, Yusei. Maybe Yusei is going to show us some actual um, real life and uh, realistic dueling. Who knows? I hope, I hope so. Well, and that's all I've got to say about this. Tune in next time for more greater duel, where, we'll, where we're going to be grading duels on New Gear Realism. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.